What's going on everybody? Come back. We're going to talk about the tent I've been using for the last three years. It's hard to believe. What's going on my outdoor crew? How are you doing? Hope this video finds you well. Well, I've been doing a lot of camping. A lot of camping here lately and more to come. Uh, we got the big trip coming up. By the time this video comes out, it may be happening, but I've done a lot of camping in this tent. And I bought this tent three years ago because the Coleman tent was starting to split a couple places and it had been used for several years before I got it. So, what this is, Discovery Adventures tent. Uh, with cots in it, I can get two people, people in it with no problem whatsoever. I've got one of the big uh, Teton Sports uh, Outfitter tents. We are in the backyard today because I've been doing some maintenance. Uh, fix to do some changing out. And I'll show you some of the things I've done on this tent. Um, this is kind of, it's kind of on the basis of the Coleman Insta tent where you slide the poles up, they stay with it the whole time, and it's deployed. Haven't had any trouble on them. I am gonna look at putting some white lithium or something grease in the sliders of the poles. Um, right there is your slider. And I'm thinking about greasing that with something. Um, want it dry so it doesn't get on the tent and mess with the tent. But as you see, I have the tent completely staked out right now. Um, the one of the things I'm fixing to do is change out the guidelines. Nothing wrong with these guidelines. They're working just fine. Um, I've never had a problem with them. But I want something else. And I'm going to show you something else I do with this tent that uh, is just my own personal preference. And over the years of camping, um, something I do but I'm fixing to change all the guidelines over to the night eyes glowing in the dark string. The reason why I'm doing that is at night, your flashlight hits that cord and it glows so you can see where that cord is. Now, one of the things I do on this tent, my wife found these for me, are those front stakes light up. They'll flash or they'll stay on constant, whichever one I want to do. What I do is when I go camping, with this tent, I'll put fresh AAA batteries in them. I don't know how long exactly they'll last uh, with the two batteries. I turn them off in the mornings when I get up. I uh, usually turn them off when I go to bed, usually. Uh, sometimes I do forget and they stay on all night. But I want the reflective cording too, in case you get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. Now, one of the things I have always done with my tent with this tent especially because it has guidelines coming out the front and the back. The stakes I put in guidelines, I always try to use an orange or a bright colored stake in the front so you can see it at all times. Um, I kind of like the white stripe on this, but this is green, kind of a bright green with a white stripe that glows. And the reason why I like something colored because all the years of scouting, we always end up using a twine or something to stake out stuff. And I've seen more scouts trip over those things than I have get around them. But you'll see in the back, I even use an orange stake out here so you can see it. And as well as on my vent. So if you walk around behind the tent, you can see that. Now, winter time, I will close that vent because the top of this tent is vented pretty well. This is a, well, in Tennessee, we can get away with three seasons on this. Um, but it's not a true winter tent at all. I can tell you that right now. Um, but for f three years going on, I was trying to think actually in um, September, I think I will have owned this four years. And it's held up really good. It's held up really, really well. Um, I've never had any problems out of it. Um, and I've been using it, like I said, pretty, 
last year it saw last two years have seen tons of use so i can't complain about it honestly it was fairly cheap i mean i don't think we paid over 150 bucks for the thing bought it at academy sports they've since quit carrying it they don't have the discovery adventure stuff anymore but uh it's been worthwhile i mean i can't complain about this thing uh, my coleman that i had i bought that when chase was uh, he was still in elementary school and i mean he's 23 years old now i still got it um and it could probably still be i mean it could still be used the only problem it has i, I ripped a <laughs> I ripped a uh, rod pocket the first time putting it up. I was so mad. It was my stupid mistake. Um, but the only other problem it has is kind of one of the seams, but it's under the rain fly. And I've thought about fixing it just to heck with it and keep going. It's a dome tent. Um, it's just, I'll put the name of it down here, but I've had a lot of success on this thing. I can't complain about it. Um, don't know who made it like i said it resembles a lot of the coleman insta tent where you just slide the poles up and it's done so i wanted something simple and easy i would like a gazelle at some point and may get one to be honest with you um, may get one eventually but uh for now i mean it takes me by myself it takes me 10 minutes to put this thing completely up staked out and everything now i will say this if it's not raining if it's not a real windy day or anything like that a couple of these guidelines may not get done and the reason for being i'm only there for less than a few hours i'm gonna have enough gear in it's not gonna keep not gonna let the tent walk on its own um so i just don't worry about it I always open the vent in the back though ventilation but um yeah that's it i mean three years it's been a darn good tent i will have to say that it's i i can't complain it's giving me good service and 150 bucks and it's lasted this long and i'm i'm not giving it up yet i don't have the cabbage to put out for a gazelle right now i got other things i want to buy <laughs> for camping but uh yeah that's it that's it on the discovery adventures tent uh you'll see it camping trips to come but i have been seam sealing it today that's why it's up in the backyard at home so i thought i would bring that along and tell you what's going on but uh i do seem to try to seam seal it like every year and i just realized after the big uh rain camp out that i did in uh, smokies i hadn't done it for two years and it it didn't leak so whatever i'm doing i'm gonna keep doing that's it for this one guys i appreciate you watching uh make sure you hit that like button share and subscribe and all that good stuff and hopefully you're at the camp out with us at coming to mountain state park if not we'll see you on the next one be prepared <music>